Lindsay? Yes? I have a confession to make. Okay. I'm a warlock. <laughs> I think I already knew that about you. <laughs> I am. I'm level five. Okay. Uh, and I'm awoken. What is an aw awoken? Uh, it's one of the races in Destiny, and this is the Destiny beta, and we've been talking about this for a while, um, that the creators of Halo, Bungie, right. uh, have now split off to do their own thing. They have left Microsoft, uh, they have left Halo behind, and um, they are creating a cross-platform console exclusive. This is not going to be on PC, at least yet. Okay. Um, there are no plans for that, so it's mainly... Um, current generation like xbox one and ps4 but it is for both platforms. yes both okay. so well four platforms because it's going to be on ps3 and 360 as well oh, okay. although i have no idea how that's going to look um but it looks pretty good on ps4 anyway this is destiny all right so let's just uh let's just jump into destiny and see what it's about so you say there's a warlock but is this a sci-fi game is it got a little bit of fantasy to it what's how does that happen it's very much a sci-fi game they don't okay, give you, they the don't spaceship. give you spaceships with fantasy. Um, so let's This is kind of the world of destiny right now. So there is the tower and the earth. So let's let's go to earth. Let's go to old Russia. I thought you'd All appreciate right. that. Okay, basically All right. The tower, okay, see this circle? This yeah. big globe thing. That is a um, there's a city underneath here or something underneath this orb. Well, here, let's go to tower. I'll show you. That's what we'll do. Let me watch over there. So it is not the moon. <clears throat> no, it, this is a, somewhere in the future, and we uncovered this um, intelligent sphere, this alien sphere, and it gave us a lot of technology. And we went and explored the universe and you know leapt forward as a race. Humanity okay. took to the stars. But apparently this, this alien intelligence had an enemy, and so this enemy finally caught up to it, caught up to us, Okay. Uh, destroyed humanity, killed all our colonies, and pushed us back to Earth, uh, Great. kicked our butt all on Earth, and then this thing like made one final stand over the last human settlement and wiped out all the enemy forces, but kind of, I guess, killed itself in the process. Hmm, okay. Um, I don't know. There, there's some lore to it. It seems fun. Um, it seems really interesting. I, I really like the game world so far. And so, that's kind of where the setting is. And as a character, as a guardian, so here's the tower. This is my main hub, right? On Earth. Uh-huh. There, that's what's left of the, uh, the sphere. Okay, so did it have like a civilization on it or is it just a thing that kind of... I don't know yet. Okay. Um, I woke up, I, you know, I was basically awoken. They have these little uh, drones that fly around. Uh -huh. um, voiced by Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones. It's, nice. it's called a ghost. It basically woke me up, literally brought me back to life. And oh. um, imbued me with some sort of power from this sphere to then be a guardian and protect humanity and take our planet back and defend the human race and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Along with all of these other fine people that you can see in blue. This is the beta. Um, it's going on, I think, for the rest of the month. Um, I'm extremely excited about this game, and it's a lot of fun. Shooting's good. It's like, it's a shooter, so think kind of like Halo, um, but also think kind of like Borderlands kind of stuff, because you, right. you can do uh, groups of up to one to three people, so we, you could play together with your friends. It's pretty okay. easy, drop in, drop out, PvP, everything you expect from a shooter, but this... So like, are all these people here your friends? No. No. Okay, no. so it's, it's more than just your friends. List. It's... Okay, let me put it this way. So there's PvP, mm -hmm. instance PvP, like Battlegrounds. Okay. Like, so if you're familiar with Warcraft or anything else like that, it's like Battlegrounds, all right? Right. There's also the world where you can do solo, run around on the Earth's surface with no oh, no particular care. Um, uh, and uh, do that. Um, and you can, like, run into other people in the open world. And then there are, there are areas where you have to create a fire team, which is, like, kind of think of it, like, from MMO terms again, like an instance group. So instead of a five-man okay. dungeon, it's, like, a three-man fire team. You go in and you do some, like, PvP dungeon kind of stuff. And we'll, we'll see that in a little bit, too. Okay, so it's, it's definitely a more of a merged, you're all on the same shard or whatever. It's, it's a shooter MMO. Okay, interesting. On a console. And it works. But I haven't really heard it advertised as an MMO. I wonder if people are kind of getting away from well, doing that. Well, they, they're not, they don't define it as an MMO because MMO comes with some negative connotations. Right, okay. Um, and they don't really want to do that. 
But I am, it's very much, if, if you're familiar with, okay, maybe it's not an MMO, but it's got the trappings of it in some areas, but whatever. Whatever it is, I like it. It works. So you can go to your little guy here, and so I'm a warlock, so I can talk to the warlock dude, and he's got armor, the armor vendor, and I can buy stuff. It's got stats. Looks, I mean, it's, if you're familiar with MMOs, you're familiar with, like, Borderlands, things like that, right. it, this is going to be very familiar to you. I've got three kinds of currency. Glimmer is what drops off normal bosses. This Vanguard marks, which I'm, I'm thinking is pretty much, like, how you get, like, the high-level fire teams or, like, strikes that sure. they do. And then Crucible Marks. Crucible is their PvP. Oh, okay. Right? So there is okay. the Warlock, there is the Hunter, yeah, and there is the Titan. And those, those are the, the three classes. Three? That's it. Okay. Um, there are different specialties within each. Like, I'm a Warlock. Uh, as I said, I'm level 5. I'm a Voidwalker. That's my subclass. Oh, okay. Um, and you can see there's at least one, one other one called a Sunsinger, but it requires level 15. Currently, the beta tops out at level 8. Oh, okay. So you um, won't get to try that out. No. But, you know, I got my gear, all that kind of stuff. There's actually a pretty cool companion app on the, um, I think it's all the iPhones and Androids, uh -huh. where I can match, I can look at my stats, I can look at my gear, it'll update what my guy says, like, it'll give me any lore that I find in the world. Like, oh, neat. Yeah, you know, I can open up and read about the lore on the, on the app. It's actually uh, pretty cool. Will it give you, um, do you think they'll kind of improve that to give you the opportunity to do, like, micromanagey stuff? Like, that always seemed to me, like, the best way to go with, um... What do, you mean, what do you mean by mobile apps? And someone was like, "If I want to use the auction house or manage something." Oh, uh, maybe, things. maybe, but I don't. I don't really think there's going to be an auction house. Um, there is a post office, okay, Checking which apparently you can send stuff to, between other players, and there is a bank, like a vault. Um, so you can use your stuff between characters. So armor, weapons, general tab, that kind of thing. Okay. So you know you can have multiple characters, that kind of stuff. NPCs. There's um, like this guy is somebody who I basically identify weapons for you and if you have enough currency you can buy stuff so like there are drops in the game like you know they'll be color coordinated mm -hmm. um, again it'll seem very familiar to you if you've done Borderlands or um, a, an MMO um, in the last 10 years and when you get them sometimes they'll be like schematics like engrams is what they call them and you bring it to this guy and he identifies them for you and tells you you know what you've won Okay. Um, that's kind of thing. So there, there's tons of other stuff. Um, like I said, this is kind of the hub. I really love the art style. Um, the music is fantastic. Bungie is top notch with everything that they do. Um, yeah, look at that sky. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just fantastic. Uh, but let's let's get in some gameplay. So I'm gonna hold down yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, I think with with Bungie, we really just need to shoot some stuff. So yeah, we'll shoot some we'll shoot some stuff. Anyway, there's my little ghost. Oh, okay. So uh, that is the ghost. That is the ghost. So anyway, back to space. Um, the load times on the PS4 are kind of annoying, um, okay. but you know, it's I understand it's this is not a PC, so there's going to be a lot of limitations no matter how good the consoles are. Mm -hmm. um, but you would think like this early on in the console cycle. Well, no, I mean, it's, this is you know, at least they're clever about it. Like right now, this is the load screen. Mm -hmm. So I get in my ship. If there were people in my fire team, you would see their two ships behind me, mm. which is kind of cool. So I mean, I get. I definitely get points for atmosphere. So there's the crucible I can go to, which we'll check out in a little bit, or I can go to Earth and run some missions. So um, there's the level two story. So okay, yeah, sure, why not? I'll, I'll backtrack here a little bit and I'll show you where kind of things began. All right. Um, I did have the opportunity to play with a couple guys on my my PlayStation list. I don't have a ton of friends on the PS uh, PS4. Okay. Our PlayStation guy. I was an Xbox guy last generation. I've been doing a lot of PC stuff. Right. There's so little left out here. We were lucky to even find this ship. A Guardian can't do much to protect the city with that one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find Gotta one. Gotta hit that Cosmodrome. We survived the fallen I love that word. We can do it again. Cosmodrome. Exactly. So, like... That's the load screen. So Peter Dinklage's voiceover and me flying over the planet. That's kind of how the PS4, or you know, the game rather, is dealing oh, with the okay. fact that it's loaded. The Guardian ship was, was recently shot it. down here. Right. If the Fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be so, parts we can salvage. We're in the open world. Here's this dude. You're like hanging out. You'll see a lot of people. Um, again, the atmosphere, pretty, Very nice. pretty sweet. It looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. You can see some aliens up there. I want to see my, my objectives. 
I pull up my little ghost and he'll show me where I might need to go. Where do I need to go? Where am I going? Ah. I'll no follow the mini map, see the little thing blinking? Yeah. That's where I'm headed. Put oh, it away. Okay. Um, different weapons, which. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't. I only have the one primary right now. This is a scout rifle, like a uh, kind of a, a semi-auto, uh, uh -huh. kind of a kind of like a battle rifle from Halo games. Things like that. Not a fully automatic mid-range rifle. Pull the trigger as fast as you can. It'll fire. Mm -hmm. um, a little more accurate. And my shotgun, uh, which is considered my special attack weapon. No. But as a warlock, I would assume you would have, like, spells or whatever they want to call them. Um, I do. I have kind of like a force. Instead, instead of punching people like the Titan, I got kind of this, like, little oh. force pushback. Uh-huh. Um, and then my grenade is actually psychic. It's like a psychic grenade. Oh, sweet. Although I do have, you know, it recharges, so I have to, like, be careful with that. I can also glide. And that's a warlock thing, is gliding? Yeah. Other, other, like, I know, like, the, um... The Titan has like an extended, like an extended jump. But mine's kind of, and you see, you notice like on the tower, you were in third person, you get a good look at your guy, you come here and it turns to first person. Gotcha. Oh, oh. Grenade. You can see it's kind of Mass Effect in the way that it oh, happens. Yeah. I sucked at throwing that. Um, you'll notice in addition to Halo, I don't have, unlike Halo, I don't have a shield and a health bar. I have that little white bar above. Okay, and that's your health, okay. Yep. So this battle rifle is pretty good because if I'm, if I'm smart with it, I can... What's up, Reaver Dog? So who are these bad guys? Are these like warped humans? No, these are aliens. Oh. Okay. So let me just do this. Nice. These are aliens. Apparently like the darkness. Oh, deploy ghost. There we go. The ship's avionics are completely catatonic. But I can call their last transmission. Again, if you've played Halo, which I know you haven't, but they managed to restore that, information. This little like having a, a little techno buddy to follow you around. We this is like the out. Cortana. Yeah. Like the guilty spark of Yeah. This. All right. Um, some of these areas are repetitive. Like I, I've moved on, but I've probably been to the same like map three or four times already. So I don't know if it's going to be like that through the entire game. But, oh, okay. Um, it sends you to different parts of it, so it kind of that's kind of a downside. It would kind of recycle some of this stuff, but oh, watch your head! some of these controls at some point. I'm just used to that. Oh. Oh, that's supercharged. That's my supercharge. I have a su every class has a super ability. Mine is kind of like a kind of like a black hole disintegration thing. Sweet. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty mean. I like it. Oh. These spin metal leaves are some kind of currency. I can find these around the world and turn them in for stuff. Get gear craft that kind of stuff. Yeah, I should probably go to my objective. I was just having fun. Um, but yeah, these are all aliens. Uh, from what I understand, there's two. F oh, see that? Yeah. That's a chest. They have chests scattered across the world. So mm -hmm. if you can find them. You get the loots. Nice. So now I just gotta figure out how to get up there. Probably not going down in the creepy tunnel. All right, where do we go? Um, yeah. So there's a couple factions that I've seen so far, and I don't I don't know if they're exactly warring with each other or what the deal is. Yet. Again, there's it's very limited in the amount of story that you get out of this. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
But there's the Fallen and the Hive, and I've seen them kind of um, take issue with each other. What's happening? And those are both different types of aliens? Yes, and you can see I've got some movement. See, so I've got the little motion tracker on the upper left. Oh, uh-huh. These guys might have respawned already. Oh, how you doing? Excuse me one moment, I need to reload my shotgun. <laughs> nice. Um, I've been playing a lot of PC shooters for a while, so it's yeah. kind of taken me a while to get back into the controls of the um, console shooter. Anyway, I really like it. I'm just trying to figure out how to... No. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to do that. Because I thought maybe there were, I could get it from the inside, but you could see it's like a little yeah, it's, it's like, like tucked away. All right, whatever. Enough of this. I can sit here all day. Um, these things are farmable. And what I mean by that is, it's like, think of it like, an, again, an open world MMO. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sorry, apparently I'm supposed to go in there, so, okay. Somebody's hissing at you. Damn, this is time. Wow. Yep. I do not want to get caught out here. Sorry, I'm trying to get fancy in my glide over people's heads and drop like bombs on them and I should probably just shoot them in the face. The shooting feels really good. Um, <laughs> Quarters. Doo, 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 doo. I dig the music. I, I love the lighting effects, the atmosphere. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can sneak. Yeah, that's oh, pretty creepy. My super is charged. Oh, shit. He doesn't look close enough. No. no not. But you can adjust anyone's attitude with a 12 gauge. The entire area. <laughs> There's a little flashlight that comes on too sometimes, but like it's the game prompts it. Like only in certain areas will it come on. Like oh, okay. I can't control it. Which, can't like yeah, yeah really which kind of sucks because there's times where you know so can jump to any planet or I'm a future soldier with right. guns and magic. You think I could get a we're couple double A batteries? Right. We have to go back. We have to go back. We gotta go we gotta back. Go back. Okay, back out the way I came. What's that flash? Oh, that's just a light. Okay. Yeah. We gotta go back. Go back. I love you because nobody else would understand that. <laughs> oh, well, not nobody else, but you'd have to have to watch Lost, I guess. And they're back again. Good grief. Yeah. That felt good. Wow. Was that your thing? Yep. The supercharge? Yep. So that was a punch to the face and a shotgun blast. That <laughs> felt really good, too. This game just... I mean, when you smack somebody, it it feels good. Okay, here's a ship dropping more off. More what? <clears throat> more bad guys. Remember, they have the planet. They control oh, everything. Oh, right. So you have a jetpack, too? Uh, yeah. Maybe. You don't really see the jetpack. 
Yeah, that's magic. Maybe it's oh. techno magic. I think that's everything. Um, So, you know, I, I like Giant Bomb. Mm -hmm. They did a quick look at this, which I'm a huge fan of, their, all their stuff. But they kind of brought up, Jeff uh, Gersman brought up a really good point that um, it's kind of smart for Bungie to get away from Halo for, for a lot of reasons. Sure. It gives them more creative license. Um, Halo, everything was kind of militarized and kind of grounded in reality. You know, Super Soldier, that kind of thing. Sure. With, like, Destiny, they don't have to tie it to anything realistic. They can just kind of wave their hands and go, Magic! But you know? yet they still kind of went the whole science fiction and alien invasion. Oh, very much so. Very much so. so I mean, they, as it, far as if they were really looking to do something radically different, I don't know that I would say this is it, aside from like the right. MMO aspect. So you can see these guys out here. Uh-huh. Um, they obviously are doing something similar or coming this way for something. Well, where are they at? Okay, so these are actual players. Yep. I don't know why this one guy's pinging. Maybe he's talking on comms. I don't really know. But... Maybe. Um, anyway, you can drop in or drop out with people on your friends list and other other characters pretty easily. Nice, okay. Scanning for the warp drive. Bad news. It's already in fallen hands. Well, all right then. It was easy. Everybody be doing it. I hope you're ready for this. Okay. So now you see that like glimmer on my screen. Yeah. I'm entering the darkness, um, which is like. <clears throat> kind of like an alien hive. But basically, this is where you enter instanced play. Kind of. So okay. now it's like respawns restricted. You can see like on the top gray bar, it's kind of got this little skull. Yeah. Not very happy. That means if I die here, I have to start over at the very beginning. Of the dungeon? Of, yes. Yeah. The Not instanced the area? advice to have more than one person in these things? Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be necessary. Um, depends on the level. Like, I'm level 5, these guys are level 2, they're not sure. going to provide me much challenge. Um, I was on with a buddy of mine the other it's day. It's in the walls! Oh, it's in the walls! It's in the fucking ship! Rickus, the Devil Archon! Well, hi, Rickus! <laughs> Rixus! Ricky. <laughs> probably the automatic weapons are probably a little bit better. I don't know. It depends on your play style. You can just dump weapons. Personally, I like to take more surgical approach. <laughs> Anyway, um, I was a couple levels. Okay, so that's the mission. Apparently, I you just killed an archon. Ooh. Ooh. This could cripple the fallen, and we got a warp drive. I have to get you to the speaker. Get me to the speaker, Peter Dinklage. Um, all right. So there, there. mission ended. Great job. Thanks for stopping. <laughs> Anyway, I, I joined up with a guy on PS4, and I was level 4 at the time, he was level 6, and we went against some level 8 guys. Um, and so we went into a mission together that was obviously higher than what we were supposed to, to be doing, but we were able to pull it off because we were cooperatively playing. Nice. We could revive each other, so even though I couldn't respawn on my own, 
we can revive each other. So here's kind of like my end of action report. Hmm. Um, 57 kills, 13 precise kills, probably like headshots, whatever, mm -hmm. 12 kills with abilities. And hey, by the way, I got this like, you know, sweet baby blue helmet or teal or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> mission, okay. mission summary. Um, so there's my score. I don't know what all that entails, but again, how much time it took me. And there's my dude. And then yeah, this is kind of cool for advancement. It seems like the more you use stuff, the more you unlock. So when I level up, you'll see, like, I'll get opportunities to unlock some of these things. Hmm, okay. Um, and I don't have any bounties, but I'll, I'll show you what bounties are at the um, activity board. Um, basically, back on the on the tower yeah. in the city, you can pick up bounties like PvP or PvE or whatever, missions, that kind of stuff, and get stuff done. Anyway, so that's it. So, all done here. Again, that was, like, a very early mission. Right. Like I said, load times, not so great. Yeah. But only noticeable because of the... I'm, I'm a PC guy. But little in-game cinematic. But at least it's all in-engine, you know? It's not like a cutscene, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is all... That's pretty impressive looking. The game client. There was a time... What? When we were much more powerful. What the fuck are you? But that was long ago. That is the speaker. Until it wakes and finds its voice. I am the one who speaks for the traveler. The traveler, that's the award thing. Mm. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. Yeah, I got ends of questions. Like, what's In its here? dying Mask. breath, Seriously? the traveler created the ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians, to protect us and do what the Traveler itself no longer can. Oh, I'm kind what of sad. happened to it? Yeah. Poor little Traveler. It's like a I could tell you it's a great space battle. It is! Oh. Oh. How the Traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales. I could tell you. Told but the city to fight it. each other. Yeah. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. <laughs> Maybe it's the mask you're wearing. The darkness right? is coming. The darkness back. is coming. We will so not it's survive. The darkness, this not time. darkness, not no, it, it, it is darkness. The darkness, not it's a very specific. The fallen are just the beginning. Okay, so the fallen. What can I do? They're kind of like the you first must push of back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. God, I can never follow friggin' Bungie stories. I did. I'm sure of it. We're in this together now. It looks good. It looks good. The game looks good. Very. Alright, it's got crazy story, space warlocks, wizards at the moon, all kind of stuff, but damn, the game looks good and it plays good and it's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw! I'm off to fight the darkness. I cast magic missile at it. Okay, so that thing's not like moon size. I was thinking like no. Okay. No, 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 no. It's gonna be screwing up the tides. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't think screwing up the tides is humanity's biggest problem right now. Well, okay, fine. We got we got other things to worry about. Anyway, okay, so set my destination, and I can go back to Earth, and you can see like. The Devil's Lair is, is a level 6 strike. That is definitely in a PlayStation Plus required, you'll notice. I see there's a matchmaking component to it. Yes. So, I'm like, not, this is like a dungeon here. finder? I have no idea. Why don't we find out? Let's do. Um, I don't know. I've not tried to do this solo yet, so this will be a... So, okay, searching and evaluating. Nice. So, yeah, that tells me that yes. So, okay, let's do one of these live, because why the hell not?
cold bo- cone bone Sunny seventeen. Slayer. They're prob they're probably gonna be really pissed if I'm not on comms, but Is there any way you can do that? I well, the phone will continue yes. to claw up the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of the oh, cosmos, not. Home, okay. in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the house of Devil's Lair and the high civitor feeding them their strength. We must destroy this machine god and send their souls screaming back to hell. Back to hell. Souls screaming. 